Orange and Blue Sports Network, the official broadcast provider of Florida Gators Club Hockey. All season long, OBSN will have you covered both on and off the ice. This is Swamp Slapshot with Jamie Goldman and Rob Russo on the Orange and Blue Sports Network. Welcome into another episode of Swamp Slapshot. I'm Jamie Goldman, joined by Rob Russo. Our player guest today is freshman Liam Lickishwa. Liam, how are we doing today? Fantastic. How are you guys doing? Doing good, Not doing good. Bad. Excited to talk some Florida Gators hockey. Me too, man. So, before like you got here, you know, I just want to know a little bit about you, where you came from, where you grew up, teams you played for. Tell us about Liam Lickishwa. All right, so growing up back in the little suburb of Chicago, it was called The Grange. Um, played for the Chicago Hawks Hockey Club my entire life. Literally never switched clubs once. I would do like AAA spring just to do better. Never really had any desire to go AAA though. Like I had a great culture at my AA team, the Chicago mm-hmm. Hawks. Um, so my last year of high school, I actually double rostered. Played for the Chicago Hawks and for my high school, Lions Township. That was a great time. I wish I did that all four years because like playing high school for your school. Like I didn't, I played lacrosse for my high school, but I wasn't very good. Like playing hockey, actually being good at it, it was fun to represent my school doing that. So for sure. why didn't you do it all four years? Just out of curiosity. Um, it was a lot of time. Yeah. It was a lot of. It was like every single day, I getting on the ice. Big commitment. Yeah. Like. So every day. you played for this Chicago Hawks team your whole life. Like it was probably the same group of guys, right? It was, yeah. So how has that transition been? You know, you've been playing with these same group for. 10, 12, whatever amount of years, and now you're here in Florida with these brand new group, like you don't know any of these kids, so how's that kind of been going? I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty social guy, so it hasn't been too bad. Like, Jackson Choi and Keegan Lampinen, those guys are at the same fraternity that I'm pledging, so I've been getting to know them very well. Same with like Nick Ho and Michael McCoy, those are my line mates, and then just really everyone. Like, I just get along with everyone pretty well, so it's been a good time, I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you guys looked really good out there. Um, those those first two games, putting up seven and six goals. You were on the score sheet as well. One goal, one assist last game after we uh, adjusted the score sheet. Um, <laughs> they yes. zipped you, man. Yeah, that was, that was fair. That was fair. Um, so, you know, like that adjustment, right? I mean, getting to know what, is, what goes into – line chemistry you know how much time and practice goes into working with your two line mates and you know you're the center you're heading up that line what does it mean to just you know be in practice and just grind it out with those guys uh well i talked with michael a lot about it because like we're both like i guess all three of us are skill guys but mike was telling me like yeah like this isn't a league where you dangle around everybody you're gonna get killed if you do that very different than like high school and club and that type of stuff he's like yeah you keep it below the goal line get gritty and just keep below the goal line, cycle, try and make a quick pass here and there below the goal line mainly, up yeah. to the point, shots from there. Just keep it simple, really. And so I started to do that a little bit, and it was working. We were cycling the puck very well, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. And, like, I mean, we talked about it on the broadcast a little bit. I don't know if you listened back yet, but really, like, the big thing was, like, the combination of, you know, you get those quick passes ahead, like the one that you got on your goal and then the nice move in front or, like, the one that Mikey Katz had on the first goal. But then you also have the goals – like the one that you almost had an assist on, um, <laughs> or you know, just ones in front where you're really grinding it out, getting those dirty goals, getting in the corners, and just really working the puck out. So you know, how has that balance been for for all you guys? Because I know all you guys, you know, you get you do do have so many skilled players on the, on the yeah. roster as well. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I mean, it's hockey. You know, it's just kind of just go with the flow. That, that, right. That's why I love hockey so much. There's not a lot of like set plays like football where you have to literally study. Right. Like. <laughs> I mean, we all go to UF, we're all good students, but like, I'd rather play a sport to play a sport, not to know right. how to run a route. Yeah. Um, so it's just kind of go with the flow, you know? Just, you know, that's about <laughs> all I got. Yeah. 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 Um, so how does the pace of play kind of compare? Because you, you mentioned, like, you've been playing double-A hockey, you played high school um, for your, your, your school, if there's Alliance Township or something like that. Yeah. Um, so how does the pace of play kind of compare going from double-A high school to now the college level? Um, honestly, that game on Friday night was the most electric game I've ever played in. I was pretty <laughs> packed. Um, those guys were really just trying to take my head off. I'd say it was about the same speed. Just guys were more trying to, like, amp up the crowd to kill a freshman than yeah. I ever played against. So that's about it. I don't know. High school and double-A. High school's a bit slower than double-A for sure. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I'd say college is about the same as double A, roughly. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still have to get used to it, so it feels pretty fast right now, but I bet by the time I get used to it, it'll be about the same. Yeah, and you guys haven't even really gone into, like, your D1 schedule exactly. yet, too, exactly. so... I'm sure that'll continue to amp up as you For guys sure. get going. Yeah, like we got Georgia coming up. Yeah, yeah rivalry yeah. game yeah. in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you, you, ex- yeah good. you excited? Like, what's going on? You guys talking yeah, about the rivalry? We're all fired up. We're getting a bus on Friday, I think. Really? Yeah, we're getting a bus Friday. I don't know about Saturday, but yeah, hopefully. I mean, if the rink was closer, that game would be super buzzy. But yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe fan buses or something. I don't know. We got to do something so. to get these fans out I there. I know. Yeah, you gotta get. Be- Got to get something going with that. Yeah. yeah, but it's four straight home games, right? It's UGA back-to-back, and then we'll look at the schedule. Now, U-Tampa, uh, mm-hmm. we talked about that um, last week. Um, you know, that's a D1 squad now. Um, they're back-to-back. I think we're close to it, right? D1 yeah, national, back-to-back back D1 champions. National, yeah. D1 national champions, right? Now, you guys are going to repeat. I know you weren't on last year's team. You're going to repeat as national champions, going from D2 to D1. So, you know, maybe that's a bit of a preview of some playoff action that we're going to see later on. Uh, in the season, so any feeling is going into that one? I mean, I'm completely new to this stuff. Like, I'm just going to go in with no... Right. No. I mean, we're going to prepare, obviously, but I'm not going to try and judge them based on what happened last year. We're just yeah. going to go in, play our game. You know, we all trust what we're doing, like, with everything. So we're just going to go in, play our game, see how it goes. Right. I, I think we'll come out victorious. Feeling pretty confident as well. I, I, yeah, I'm feeling good about you guys in that one, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So another thing I kind of wanted to ask you about was how did you end up here? You know, you're from Illinois, you're a Chicago kid, Chicago Hawks. Whoa, how did we end up at the University of Florida in Gainesville? Yeah, so <laughs> um, I mean, like the first surface level answer is like number one public university SEC school. Like Okay, surface so level. you were looking for a football school, you were looking for an SEC school. Yeah, I oh. mean, just a big school in general that yeah. I could play club hockey at okay. pretty much was me. I mean, I got into the Innovation Academy here, and that's uh, – I want to be an entrepreneur when I'm older, so that's going to be a good stepping stone for mm-hmm. me. And then, yeah, I also loved how the hockey team was, like, mixed around all the football games, so we would never miss a football game. Like, that was another big thing. Like, yeah. Indiana, for example, they practice super late. Yeah. Don't schedule anything around football. I talked to that coach. So, yeah, and then Florida just, I mean, this place is awesome. Like, yeah. Because you not want to be here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So tell me a little bit about the practices. When, how often do you guys practice? When do you guys practice? What do the practices look like? Like, what's good with the practice? Yeah, so, I mean, last night was honestly kind of killer. It was 10.15 to 11.45. Wow. It was like an hour and a half away. In Jacksonville, that's where we practice. True. And, yeah, so got home at like 2, 2.30. Got to bed at about 2.45. Wow. It's like... It's 10 a.m. right now, so I'm sure I'm sure I'm could be feeling in a bit better shape, but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> we practice every Tuesday night in Jacksonville. We might be getting another one added to the weekly schedule. I'm not sure yet. I'm not in charge of that type of stuff. Yeah, right. Uh, but what they look like in terms of that, start off with a warm up drill, um, get into some battle drills like three on three, two on two, that type of stuff. Uh, more flow drills, and then, a norm, and then another battle drill. Um, so they got your feet moving. A lot of, a lot of moving. High yeah, tempo, was, high intense stuff. Going yeah, on. I was pretty gassed last night. Like very gassed last night. Yeah, probably by design though. Getting you ready yes, for Georgia. Getting exactly. you ready for Tampa in the third yeah. period. Legs oh, got to be ready. A lot of power play stuff. Okay. We were like one for eleven, so we worked on power play a good amount. Okay, there you go. Working on the power play. That was a little bit of a. Downside in their first two games, but good to hear you boys are working on it. Yeah, that needs to get better for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, if you don't have anything else, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for our second edition of Swamp Slap Show. We want to thank you guys for listening in and watching, and we want to thank Liam for joining us today. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, no, we had a blast.